science is always a big part of the fish keeping hobby. So if you're not on good terms with this broad, mind-blowing subject, you have no choice but to learn and love it. Um, is it loving my pet fish alone enough in this hobby? Of course, no. Because love in this hobby equates with you researching and understanding how everything works according to science. But that work does not need to be stressful, especially now that you've got us. Yep, that's right. Aquarium Store Depot is here to teach you everything you need to know about the science of nitrates and how you can make it low. All you have to do is stay with us until the end of this video, because we're back with new information for a dedicated fish keeper like you. Our tank may sometimes look like it has no issues, but you should be aware that unexpected problems might arise if you fail to address them as soon as possible. One of the potential tank issues you might want to observe is the rise of nitrate. The nitrogen cycle's nitrate component is created when bacteria convert ammonia to nitrate. Since nitrate and nitrite have similar names, new aquarists frequently mix them. Nitrates are less hazardous to fish than nitrite, which is far more toxic. This is because nitrate concentrations are occasionally 100 times higher than nitrite concentrations. Most aquarium fish can be poisoned and killed by just one part per million nitrite concentrations. The amusing thing about nitrate is that it's virtually ubiquitous. Nitrate is likely present even if you replace the old tank water with fresh treated water. Thankfully, it's not as lethal as nitrite, and you can take plenty of action to prevent it from getting higher. That's right, fish keepers, there are nine easy ways to lower the nitrate level in your tank. But before we discuss it, it would be awesome if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where plenty of fish keeping information is posted. Before I get into this topic, I know there's been some controversy with our last video about nitrates. I want to use this video to clear the air and specifically address both freshwater and saltwater tanks, which our last video about nitrates was attempting to address. In freshwater, there are particular aquatic animals that are very sensitive to high nitrates, such as shrimp, crabs, amphibians, discus, fry, and many juvenile fish. Additionally, it's not uncommon if you run high nitrates in the tank you're purchasing your new fish from do not have the same parameters. This is especially true if purchasing from a quality breeder or high-end fish retailer like we recommend on our website. Exposing a fish that is established in a lower nitrate environment to a high nitrate environment can cause stress to your newcomer. They're already stressed enough from the transport process. We should try to give them the best welcome mat possible. In planted tanks, the optimal maintenance level for nitrates by fertilizers like Easy Green is 20 to 50 ppm. Easy Green is considered one of the best fertilizers in the market. Plus, Corey is a stand-up guy, and I would never link him to giving us bad information. In saltwater, many fish are sensitive to high nitrates, as well as many corals and inverts. It takes advanced care and time to establish a tank that can run off high nitrates. Even with that, it's generally not desirable, as you could be plagued with nuisance algae growth, especially when combined with phosphates, which can go hand in hand. Now that the room has been addressed, let's not make you wait any longer. We'll dive into our first quick way to lower nitrate in your tank, and that is changing your water frequently. If you change your water, your nitrate level will drop if it has less nitrate than your tank water. To confirm this, check the nitrate levels in your freshwater tank and tap. Additionally, ensure the water you're replenishing is treated for chlorine or chloramine and kept at proper temperature. Avoid using tap water as a source if the nitrate concentrations are at or above 40 ppm. If the nitrate levels in your tap water are too high, it's preferable to use RO water. As tap water is cleaned of nitrates, phosphates, chlorine, and minerals, RO water has several advantages for your aquarium fish. Follow these steps on your screen to change your tank's water. Second, grow a beautiful amount of live plants in your fish home. It's pretty typical to have significant nitrate buildup or old tank syndrome in your tank over a number of years. The issue is well under control if you have freshwater aquariums, adult fish, and aquatic animals that are not sensitive to it. 
Extreme nitrate concentrations, however, can be an annoyance in saltwater aquariums. For a healthy ecology, reducing nitrates and keeping them below 40 ppm is suggested. You can have higher nitrates in a reef tank, but it's a more advanced subject for another video. To address this, a planted aquarium is the most effective way to use nitrates as food. Aquascapes inject nitrate as nitrogen, or N, since plants may become seriously deficient in this essential nutrient if they use it all up. Live aquatic plants for freshwater aquariums provide additional benefits, such as reducing the amount of algae growth, offering refuge for young fish and fry, and allowing fish to lay their eggs in specific locations. But what are the live plants you can add to your tank that are effective at lowering nitrates? Here are those. First, the water sprite, or Indian water fern, is a suitable live plant for most community tanks. They're also efficient, low-maintenance, attractive plants that keep nitrate, ammonia, and nitrite out of your aquarium. They're such an effective natural filter for your aquarium that they tend to tangle with other plants and overgrow, almost like weeds. It's crucial to sometimes trim them, but make sure you don't damage the leaves. Second is the duckweed. Excellent floating plants that naturally reduce nitrates in your tank are duckweeds. Duckweed is a common aquarium plant used to manage nutrients and beautify fish tanks. Like water sprite, duckweed also multiplies fast, which can cause nutrient absorption, equipment blockages, and other issues. Third is water wisteria. With its lovely palate leaves, water wisteria is visually attractive. It's also very low maintenance and simple to cultivate. But because it quickly becomes quite tall and bushy, always grow this plant in the background. Fourth is the frog bit. This plant should be your first choice if you have a larger aquarium tank. Frogbit offers effective nitrate uptake and resembles duckweed in terms of appearance. Your neighborhood fish can spawn and find refuge in their extensive roots. Fifth is Hornwort. Hornwort is an excellent choice for aquariums with high nitrate levels since it can absorb a lot of nitrate from the water column. The plant is a valuable addition to the aquarium because it reduces phosphate and ammonia levels. In as little as two weeks, Hornwort may significantly lower nitrate levels. Nitrate levels in the aquarium must be monitored often to ensure its health and purity. Sixth is Anacharis. In addition to being an effective nitrate remover, Anacharis are an excellent food source for many different freshwater fish species, such as goldfish, tetras, and guppies. Its long, thin leaves, which are excellent for concealing fry, make an excellent plant for breeding aquariums. And the last live plant is the water lettuce. Water lettuce is another type of living plant that could be able to eliminate nitrates from the tank water. Species like Pistia stratiotes can efficiently collect 83% of nitrogen from a shallow water pond. If you want both beauty and practicality, grow this floating plant. Now that you know some of the live plants, let's move on to non-plant ways of removing nitrates. Using nitrate reducing media. Nitrate removal filter media is used to reduce nitrate levels in fish tanks so that nitrates may be removed. As was previously established, nitrates are the natural byproduct of the nitrogen cycle. Fish waste and uneaten food may be transformed into less dangerous compounds thanks to the procedure, which allows helpful microorganisms to do so. The filter medium, specifically designed to eliminate nitrate levels, fosters a healthy bacterial bloom. But let's look at some essential things you should consider before using this method. Selecting the proper kind of filter media for your aquarium size and filtration setup is critical. The market is flooded with different nitrate removing filter media, such as resins, pellets, sponges, etc. Rinsing the media is essential to eliminating dust and debris, but you should avoid using soap and other household cleaners since they could damage the healthy bacteria there. Regardless of whether the media should go inside the filter bag or the filter compartment, put it in the filter and carefully follow the label's directions. Monitor the nitrate concentrations in your aquarium with a water testing kit. After adding filter material, it should take around two weeks to detect a discernible drop in nitrate levels. Media may eventually get stale and overexposed and require periodic replacement. The fourth method on our list is the equipment method. If your tap water is high in nitrates, knowing how to tackle your source water is key in getting your levels down. Let's talk about three ways we can get this done with equipment. One is the reverse osmosis method. 
Installing a reverse osmosis device made particularly for aquariums is required to employ the reverse osmosis technique. The supply of tap water is often linked to the RO unit. The system then circulates the water through it to purge it of harmful nitrate and other impurities. 2. The Ion Exchange Method Some aquarists go even further with RODI water, which will require you to remineralize the water to keep it habitable to fish. This DI section is what we call the ion exchange method in the filtration process. With this technique, water is passed over a resin bed containing ions, which are charged particles. These ions in the resin bed attract negatively and positively charged water particles such as nitrates. Thus, nitrates and other pollutants are absorbed into the resin to a saturation level. And last is the water distillation method. This technique involves boiling the water till steam is created. Later, the smoke is cooled and transformed into a liquid. Nitrates and other harmful elements are eliminated from the water as it boils. You end up with clean, distilled water, free from dissolved solids like nitrates. For smaller aquariums, some hobbyists purchase distilled water at grocery stores. Keep in mind that distilled water will need to be remineralized in order to be used as aquarium water. If you want to read more about these methods, you can visit our official website at AquariumStoreDepot.com where detailed information about these quick ways are posted. Now to continue with our list, let's go on with our fifth option for lowering nitrates, the algae turf scrubber. In this technique, the ATS device employs light and water flow rich in nutrients to promote algae growth, which absorbs nutrients from the fish tank such as nitrates, finally eliminating them from the tank. It's critical to offer appropriate illumination and nutrient-rich water flow for smooth algal growth to accelerate the process and efficiency of the ATS. Cleaning your algae mats and screens is also advised to avoid clogs. While practical to use in a saltwater tank, there are better fits for a planted aquarium, as these units typically require a sump to be present for them to operate. Sixth, use refugium sumps in saltwater tanks. An aquarium system's refugium sump is a separate container frequently filled with live plants for freshwater tanks, algae, and other microorganisms. When water flows through the refugium, nitrates and other dissolved nutrients are taken up by living organisms such as plants and microorganisms, which transform them into less dangerous forms. Filtered water is then poured into the main aquarium. A refugium sump for nitrate removal would typically require a sump tank, a water pump, and sufficient illumination for Marco algae such as Ketomorpha. Seventh is placing live rocks and porous rocks. The rocks taken directly from the ocean include live and porous stones. These rocks contain live organisms like bacteria, algae, and invertebrates that may consume nutrients like nitrates. This is a great option for saltwater tanks. Have a look at your screen. Here's the pros and cons of having these fantastic rocks in your tank. Going eighth means less food for your fish. Feeding less is one of the most effective strategies to reduce nitrates in your tank. Establishing a feeding schedule for your fish is also vital. Be sure to turn off all the filters and pumps during feeding. Reduce the amount of food you add and let the fish eat it all. Feed your fish for at least five minutes. Food waste will become stuck in filters and raise the nitrate level. And the last way you've been waiting for is by avoiding overcrowding. Wait, but I love adding new types of fish to my tank. I know it's hard for some fish keepers like you, but more fish means more fish producing more nitrate. Tanks with ongoing nitrate problems are commonly overstocked with too many fish. By maintaining fewer smaller fish without overfeeding them, you can lessen the quantity of ammonia, fish waste, and subsequent nitrate produced. Test the nitrate levels in your aquarium after adding two or three fish spaced a few weeks apart. And at last, there we have it. The list of ways to easily prevent your nitrate level from increasing in your tank. Nitrate concentrations that are too high can harm the environment of your aquarium as well as the health of your fish. As a result, it's crucial to maintain equipment and analyze the water for nitrate levels regularly. And I hope this video has helped you a lot in starting up your journey to keeping your nitrates low. If you have any questions, you can share them with us by commenting below. 
You should also check out our YouTube channel for more informational videos about the fish keeping hobby. I'll see you around on our next topic. Who knows? Maybe it'll be about something you've been waiting for. Anyways, thanks for watching, fish keepers.